morning, it's Anna Vaughn, and behind me here is Luna Tuna, and we're about to take you through what we're doing for coronavirus quarantine here in Mexico. First up, dropping her off at Kids Club and bringing these bottles back. It's okay, I think you can live without your frozen hat for one day. Nothing's changed. Okay, so here's the thing. Yes. You can't wear that gangster hat because you gotta wear this. Because look. Yeah, it's all about safety right now. There's coronavirus and you can't go to the hospital because you fell off the bike and busted your head. <laughs> okay, I'm going by myself then. Don't get on there. Okay. <laughs> you hold my hat? Yeah, I'll hold. There's a serious pile up here of coconut water bottles. Stick? And we're going to have to get that stick later. Okay. Leave it there. Okay, well, there are guys building a bodega, but and they're supposed to be here right now, but they never showed up. The garbage hasn't been picked up. Apparently, we're all just like, right now, everybody in the neighborhood is just very quiet, you know? Like, a few of the elderly people that live on my block are gone. I think they're gone with family right now. So, the vibe is like, it's quiet, but nothing's officially shut. So as you just saw, they're out of hand sanitizer everywhere in this country, even Amazon is out. People are making it with alcohol at home, but also alcohol is out. So it's doing a lot of hand washing here. Kids Club, where Luna goes on Saturdays, is still open. It only has six kids, it's in a house, and they regularly disinfect all the toys here. So, I mean, I feel confident, like this is a place where they're already dealing with pink eye and dengue, like where we live. Pink eyes actually goes around so easy here and Luna woke up with a crusty eye this morning, I just let her know. I put the drops in first thing, but if it comes back, call me, I'll come pick her up because it's so contagious among children. But that's how we live. We live disinfecting stuff because of how contagious stuff, the stuff that's here at the beach is really contagious and nobody wants to get it. So. We don't have any cases of COVID-19 here yet, but the Mexican government is saying we're now in what's called phase two of, of a three-phase sort of rollout that they gave us weeks ago, and now we're supposed to be taking social distancing, but nothing is shut. There's no rules around it. They're just asking us to wash our hands a lot, lot, stay home, keep our elderly people away, you know, go, to, go out as, as le the least amount as possible, work from home if you can, you know, just stay vigilant and stay out of the hospital, I think is the big one. I was at the hospital with Luna for her regular checkup just a couple days ago and the hospital is dead. They've canceled all non-essential appointments. I mean, there was nobody there except three doctors working and her pediatrician said, we're just preparing for the worst, but like, we're ready. It's also free hospitals and I don't know what they're doing. As you can see, people are still working here, you know, the, Everyone is concerned about the economy more than anything else. Okay, so this is my local farm-to-table grocer. They have a couple farms around here and they provide fresh, local, mostly organic food. They also hand butcher meats and you can order like basically a butchered chicken that you have. Well, it's not butchered. It's just like uh, killed and defeathered, and then you do the rest. So we never get it. Luna eats chicken, but like not enough for that. Anyway, they're staying open. I recently came in and gave my number and my email just in case they go to delivery, but they need to keep people employed here. And I'm all about supporting these guys. nice to get extra fruit and also I love their homemade disinfectant everybody's doing it here to be honest it's really hard to tell if there's any difference here or not you know it feels tense among tourists however 
it's people who travel a lot, people like me. I mean, we've been here, but people like me that travel a lot, they're the ones spreading this shit. Like, at least here in Mexico, it's coming from outsiders coming in. And, you know, I have to say, like, my head is in two places, right? I run a business in Canada, but I live here. So I know, I know what it is here, but I also see what they say in Canada. And a lot of the media coming out of Canada is like, it's just racist, you know? And it's like, it's this type of racism. Like, I drank that Kool-Aid my whole life too, you know? And it's, it, 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 there is this part of me that automatically goes to, oh my God, Mexico doesn't have its shit together. How are they gonna survive this? But is that something that I know for a fact? And also, like, Mexico not having a shit together, like, what does that mean? This is a big country with a lot of people, diverse economy. Like, what does that mean? You know, so I do have these sort of gut instincts, but I'm having to think through it. And, you know, I, I really believe in this place. People are very conscious of each other. There's a real feeling of wanting to take care of each other, wanting to help. Um, this hoarding stuff that's going on is not happening here. I mean, it's happening a little bit, of course, but not like it is in Western countries. You know, I see the numbers on the world clicker and it's all the moneyed countries that are getting hit. And, you know, why isn't India up there? Why isn't Mexico up there? Why is that not happening here? I mean, people are saying, well, it's not yet. But we've, you know, we've had cases for a month now. So when is the yet coming? Uh, and may maybe that is true. Um, but I also, there seems to be like a different perspective here. Um, I definitely don't think that this is a country that can't handle it. Um, I think this is a country that doesn't believe their government and doesn't rely on them. So that's like, that's all I know. I think that Jamie just did a drive-by in here. She's here too. Yeah. Yeah. The, I spoke with, you know, I have friends all over the world, so I've been really trying to keep tabs because, of course, many places in the world, the news and the government, like, they, they're not exactly truthful. So, I mean, most of the world. So, you know, I've been trying to get sort of a pulse from my friends, and I'm hearing a lot of the same stuff. Like, among tourism groups, there's a lot of tension, but outside, there's more just, like, prevention and soldiering forward, and, yeah. We'll see. But anyway, for now, I am supporting as much as I can small business because whether it's on purpose or not, these small businesses all over are going to close as a result of this. And there is no fucking way I'm going to shop for my produce at Walmart for the rest of my life if I can help it. Okay, so my gym where I go for hit classes, Mike's Fitness, Mike's, Mike's Fitness, they're closing because they're doing group classes and they just don't feel comfortable um, having people in such tight proximity. But what they're doing instead is they're going to film classes that are available to the members online and I'm bringing them all my YouTube lights and stuff that I'm not using right now so that I can help them film their class. Community baby. Driving here with that dog was not easy. Hola. So, just around the corner from the house is our favorite cafe, Cafe Azul. They're still open and we're still going there. Part of my, not quarantine, but part of my like doing my part other than like washing our hands a lot, disinfecting the house once a day with bleach, all the surfaces, stuff like that, is that we're trying to just keep things really close. So I've got like a four block radius I'm living within. To be honest, we kind of live in that anyway. So we only come into contact with, with about 10 people a day as is. So it's not that hard. Hold it. She needs to go pee pee. Hold on. Look at this. Look how cute this is. Like, look at this community effort. 
she's making them there. And these are all the colors she's making. I like this badass one. Very cute. She she told me she could make one for Luna. Okay. Pick the one you like over there. Ah, casi la misma que mamá. Mm -hmm. Así, ¿no? Sí. O más chiquito. No, piensa esta, así, ¿no? Sí. Sí. Put it on your mouth. Go on, and then put this part behind your ears. One sí. ear. ¿Qué va a decir? Ah, uh, gracias. 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 Let me see you, honey. Turn around. Nice mask. So this this is the this is the last thing we had to pick up was I had some things getting fixed here. So we're just gonna go in here. It's just a little bit outside, still in our neighborhood, but it's a little outside of like what is our radius during quarantine. Here. Which has been closed all week, so I finally came and got it. And we're on our way home. Oh, well, that's it. That's what we're doing right now. That's our coronavirus update and where we're at here. The vibe in town is people are really worried about people losing jobs. That's that's definitely everywhere we go and everyone we're in touch with. So we're trying to keep our lives small and keep supporting people here locally. And no matter where you are, if you are in a Western country, please give to your food bank. Food banks are reporting all over the world more need than ever and less donations. So please give to your food bank. If you like this video, like it, share it, subscribe, click the little bell. All that stuff. Bye. Hug your babies. And adios, baby.